بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد The 20th juz or para of the Quran uh, starts with the remainder of Surah An-Naml and it starts uh, by finishing off the story of Lut alayhi salam and then uh, mentioning some of uh, the proofs of Allah's oneness uh, by using, uh, you know, the, the lordship of Allah, the rububiyah of Allah to prove the uluhiyah of Allah. Uh, the the rububiyah, the, the lordship of Allah, is the fact that Allah is one in, uh, in Him being the Lord and having characteristics of lordship, uh, such as creating, uh, you know, providing for His creation and so on and so forth. So Allah mentions or asks five questions uh, and they are all related to the Lordship of Allah. And then Allah says, Allah. Is there another God with Allah? So if you believe that Allah is one in His Lordship, then why do you associate partners with Allah? Why do you worship other than Allah? And so this is using the Rububi of Allah to prove the uluhiya of Allah, that Allah alone deserves to be worshipped without any partners. After that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, mentions towards the end of uh, the surah uh, some, of the, um, uh, some of the things that will happen uh, at the end of times. And so Allah mentions one of the major signs of the Day of Judgment, and that is uh, the, the, the emergence of the beast, Adab. This is the only place that it is mentioned in the Quran. And then Allah mentions how you know the um, the trumpet the trumpet will be blown. Uh, and Allah mentions uh, the, the, the the day of judgment. Uh, and then at the very end of the, the surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to serve Allah and continue to preach the Qur'an. Uh, after that we move on to the next surah which is Surah Al-Qasas. Surah Al-Qasas which is basically uh, which basically means the stories. And so we have here mainly the story of Musa salam. And so uh, the, the, uh, the surah it starts with uh, the, 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 um, the story of Musa salam and how uh, his mother, when he was a baby, she had to give him up because, uh, you know, uh, Fir'aun was rounding up all the, the, the newborn boys to kill them. Uh, and so she, you know, uh, placed him in the river. Uh, and Allah mentions uh, the sadness that she felt as a mother uh, losing her child. But Allah, uh, you know, uh, basically consoled her and said that, you know, uh, don't worry, we will protect him and he will be back with you. And sure enough, uh, Allah returned Musa salam back to his mother. And so the entire story is mentioned there uh, of how he was returned back to his mother. And also after that, when he became older, uh, when he became a man, and the story of uh, Musa salam uh, killing uh, the, 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 the Coptic, uh, the Egyptian, uh, man and uh, how you know he was worried and afraid that they're gonna catch him and so he fled uh, and he went to uh, the northern part of the Arabian Peninsula uh, which is known as an area known as Al Madian uh, and over there he saw two women uh, who uh, basically uh, were trying to uh, you know get water from a well that you know was busy the well was a very busy well and there were men who were basically uh, collecting water, and so these two women, uh, you know, they, 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 they couldn't really collect water, so Musa salam helped them and collected water for them. And, you know, the story of how one of them came uh, and said, you know, my father wants to speak to you, and the story of how Musa salam uh, married uh, one of them and spent uh, several years there in Median, and then after that, how he, uh, you know, uh, how he he left with his family, uh, and then how Allah Subhanahu wa Taala communicated with Musa, telling him now uh, go to Fir'aun 
and give him dawa, and so uh, you know the entire story is mentioned there, uh, and the rest of the story is also mentioned there of Musa alayhi salam with Fir'aun and with Bani Israel and so on and so forth. After that, we have uh, Allah subhanahu wa taala. After that, mentions uh, the, the 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 story of Qarun and how Qarun uh, was uh, from. Uh, the, the, the followers of Musa alayhi salam, but he was arrogant and uh, he was, uh, you know, somebody very rich. He was a rich uh, and wealthy individual and how he became deceived by his wealth and he became boastful and arrogant. And so Allah mentions his story and how he punished him. Uh, that is all mentioned there uh, towards the end of Surah Al-Qasas. Um, after that, we have Surah Al-Ankabut. Surah Al-Ankabut. We have the beginning of it here in uh, uh, this juz. Uh, and so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starts off the surah uh, by uh, reminding us that, uh, you know, reminding the believers that, uh, you know, this path of, uh, you know, um, uh, the, the straight path that we are supposed to follow and that we hope to be among those who are following this straight path don't think that it is a path that is filled with roses uh, and that it's all beautiful and you know there's not going to be any difficulty in it and so Allah says you know do you think that you will not be tested uh, and that you know you're going to go to Jannah just like that uh, no uh, we will test you just like we tested those before you. And so uh, that's a reality that uh, al-istiqamah and remaining steadfast upon the deen of Allah is not something uh, that's, you know, a, a free ticket uh, to Jannah, but rather it comes with a lot of difficulty and a lot of tests and trials. And so the successful ones are those who pass these tests and trials. Uh, after that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, mentions, uh, uh, you know, signs of his uh, tawheed, the tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, also, uh, also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions uh, the parable of the spider. Uh, and that is uh, basically al-ankabut, uh, the name of the surah. And so Allah mentions that uh, the parable of those who associate partners with Allah, uh, the parable of the mushrikun uh, and their shirk is like that of a spider's web. It is fragile, it is weak. And so those uh, false gods that they are calling upon besides Allah, they are weak and unable to give you what they ask you for. Just like the spider's web that is weak and fragile and, fragile, uh, and cannot really, uh, you know, hold and, and is not, you know, a, a, a house that is built upon a strong foundation. And with that, we come to the end of this juz. In the next juz, we will uh, wrap up Surat Al-Ankabut. Until then, سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته